just thoughts again. The name that uh, we've bannered about the last little while, Patrick Kane. Mm -hmm. I just, I saw Patrick Kane last night where the Chicago Blackhawks have just sucked the life right out of this guy. I saw nothing out of Patrick Kane yeah. that suggests to me that uh, teams would be clamoring right now to go get him. I'm going to open up your column here right now because you said many things in this column, and I think we'll mention it many things uh, or many times today. Excellent column uh, by Kipper. The Leafs played hardball with Kyle Dubas. Now the clock is ticking. You did mention Patrick Kane at one point. Um, you mentioned that not, not a lot of people are beating down Kyle Davidson's door uh, for the uh, concerns for people are salaries, health, performance, motivation. Like it's a long list. It's a long list. And you can see why everyone would go. I think I can find what I'm looking for without shopping at Farm Boy. Well, I'm just going to go to, you know, the, no frills. I, I'm not suggesting that teams will not want to trade for him yet i think there's still time but I, I i saw i saw no life out of him last night i didn't either and i i i think it's there's a combination of a lot of things including first and foremost how healthy is he with his hip but the other one is is like what is what is what have the chicago blackhawks done to this guy that he like he looks down and out and beaten up. Yeah, I don't know. I you're it's tough to know Kipper at this point in the guy's career. What is just like natural decline? Typically, elite elite players like Hall of Fame guys like Kane, they don't score ninety two points and then become bums. You know, so you're right that maybe there's some sort of he's defeated or he's a little injured or whatever it is. He knows he's not coming back. He yeah. envisioned himself being a Chicago Blackhawk the rest of his uh, his career. Yeah. And reality set in. They don't want me anymore. They won't re-sign me. I have to get out now. Do I get out now? Do I wait? He just looked like a guy that had a ton on his mind. And and playing last night at a, at a level that uh, he's been accustomed to was not, not in the equation. So... so um, a fellow producer here, uh, Mike Gentilly, sent me these stats with Patrick Kane this year. And last year, he had you know, 92 points. He had 66 assists and this was uh, 26 goals in 78 games. He had a you know, .33 goals per game. This year, he has nine goals in 50 games for a .18 goals per game. Yeah. And he's at a .7 point per game, and he was at 1.17 last year. Yeah. So, like, there's just been a significant drop off and i think the most obvious thing is to say you know it's playing on a crappy team but to me that drop off there's got to be he's fighting something boys like it's like that there's smoke there's fire oh, time man no I, no, no i don't think at his age i agree you're I not gonna uh, have that what is big he, 34 of a, yeah yeah like but he's 34 it's, of yeah, 14 it's, years yeah, and playoff runs yeah. and there were years I remember reading something about uh, miles on a guy. There was an NBA thing about how many games and playoff games and whatever. Like it's, he's he's had hard miles on his machine, but that could be why it's breaking down. And you're right, that's what's holding him back from being the player. Yeah. But and you can't forget about the other things uh, that I mentioned. Was you're trying to fit in ten and a half, ten point five million dollars. So even if you double retain, now you got to pay more assets because you got to pay another team. Like, you know, why are you breaking your back to make it happen for a guy you're not sure fits? It doesn't work here. And how many teams can do that? Now the Rangers are out. Would the Leafs uh, be in the mix? You know, uh, uh, Leaf alumni Carlo uh, Koliakovo mentioned uh, Rangers and, and the Leafs were high on his priority list. If that's the case, that's a big challenge now to try to make his 10 and a half fit for the Toronto Maple Leafs, even on uh, the day of uh, uh, March 3rd. Yeah. So if it's not Toronto, like I don't think he's going to go play for Carolina or something like I, he seems to want to be in a big city in a big well, market with a real chance. Not that Carolina doesn't he, have a real chance. He's but. not chasing his first Stanley cup either. Yeah, he's not, been there before. Not his, desperation. His name's on it three times. The best, 
is not chasing a cup like other players would be at his age. And the best awesome thing he could point. do is say, I am going to get healthy. I'm going to become a free agent this summer, play wherever I choose to play. With no restrictions, I'm going to get healthy. I'm not going to be a part of this Blackhawks circus from February or March 3rd to whatever. And just sit it out. You mentioned that in your article as a suggestion. That's yeah. the most likely case is what you saw yes. for Patrick Kane is just sit it out and get healthy.